Hi, Leah from my sewing room here. It's Friday afternoon in Calgary. This afternoon, I'm gonna show you guys how to take a serger stitch out. If you watch back through the videos this week, I've showed you guys the three basic serger stitches, a four thread serge, a flat lock and a rolled hem. And then there's a whole bunch of variations uh, within those to do all the other serger techniques. So, but one of the things you might need to know in the long run uh, using your serger is how to take a serger stitch out if it all goes horribly wrong. So I've got this machine threaded and ready to go. I've already got a chain started and I'm just gonna do a four thread serge and take it out. And this is quick and painless if you do it the right way and really, really painful if you do it the wrong way. So we've got the default cutting width turned on on this machine. It's at six millimeters right now. And I've got the machine threaded with four different colors. So it's really easy to see which part of the stitch we're dealing with. You could probably stop surging now. <laughs> There's no fabric there. Okay, so on our serger stitch, the Lots of people, when they decide they want to take a serger stitch out, the inclination is to start picking at your looper threads. So your looper threads are the ones that go over the edge of the fabric. And if you start trying to cut those, you are going to be sitting there a very long time picking very little bits of thread out. And it's not going to, it's not going to be easy. You're, you're going to be swearing up a storm and probably just start fresh. So not, not the happy way of doing that. Um, I explained on the first serger video this week, uh, which, what each of your threads is doing in your stitch. So your easiest place to start to take out your serger stitch is actually to start with your right needle thread. So this is a four thread serge right now. Uh, your right needle thread, uh, for me right now is green and it's going up and down like a sea serpent. So think Loch Ness Monster. So uh, easiest uh, piece to pull out is to lift up that needle thread. Start with your right needle thread. It's not hooked in tight and hard. It's just going up and down over and under your looper threads. And then you can gently pull it out. It'll gather a little bit as you do this and that's okay. Might break, not the end of the world. Just go find yourself a new little green tail. This is the one closer to the edge of your fabric. A little surged edge of your fabric. I said quick and easy, but Still, it's going to be a little bit of work, as stitch ripping always is. Always faster to sew the thing than to unsew the thing. Okay, my green thread is completely out of my stitch. So we get to do that same thing all over again with the, our other needle thread. So this is the left needle thread we're going to do second. You want to just wiggle, wiggle yourself a tail out of there. And again, it's just a little, little sea serpent going up and down up and over looper threads, catching on the front and the back. Make sure you're not pulling on the pink looper thread because that's gonna make your life awful too. You start pulling on your looper threads, get them out of the way because they'll tighten and essentially tie knots in your serger thread for you. And if this is a longer piece, you could trim and get in there and cut your needle threads along the way so you have a shorter tail to pull with. So my yellow thread is out. It's all gone. And then the magic of removing your serger stitch, those looper threads are just gonna peel off the outside because there's nothing holding them to your fabric anymore. So really, really easy to take a serger stitch out as long as you start pulling on the right threads. And that's where having some time with your serger to just goof around with scrap fabric and have it threaded with different colors will make it way easier for you to learn those little tricks. Let's sew it back together again. But maybe I'll show you guys how to secure your stitch. Yes. Yeah, let's, sec let's secure some stitches. We've got some good shots. Okay, we're good. So when you when you get started, if you know you're gonna search this properly the first time and you want your stitches secured, 
Um, what you're gonna do is start surging into your fabric. You wanna be gentle on your foot pedal. And at your first, the first time the needles go down into your fabric, on the Bernina, you can pull your stitch finger back, stitch selection lever, stitch finger, back towards you out of the stitch, lift your foot slightly, and then you wanna pull backwards on that chain that's coming off the back. That's gonna disengage it from the pins in your stitch plate. Then you can bring that over in front and hold it down. Then the extra thread there is gonna get cut off. And the loop at the end is gonna be held in place. So that's securing the first end. This, the second end is completely different because sergers don't go backwards. So at the second end, when we get to the end of your fabric, this is where if you have the Bernina with the upgraded foot pedal, you can do a needle up, needle down to uh, get your uh, needles just off your fabric. So one stitch off your fabric. And then again, pull the stitch lever back towards you, lift your foot. You wanna do a slight pull backwards to release the stitch off the pins in your stitch plate. You don't wanna pull sideways, you will break those pins. Slight pull backwards and then a flip flip it upside down and go back um, up on top. So that's gonna land, your needles are gonna, you're gonna butt your fabric back up next to your needles. And then you can actually just surge off sideways from there. So our first side, that's our second side where it's flipped. We're on the back of our fabric right now. So you can see our lower looper thread is pink. And then I flipped it back over. And at our first end, the bulk of that tail is pulled across through the stitch. And that secured all those threads through the rest of the stitch. Really, really easy. If you see what, what's actually happening. Take some practice to get it all figured out. But that's the easiest way. The other option that you have, if you have a tail like this, um, like I said earlier, don't pull on your looper threads when you're trying to take your stitch off your machine. But if you needed to tighten this tail up because you're, say, on a round garment and you don't have an end to flip over onto, uh, you can use one of those looper threads, give it a little tug, and it should tighten down next to your fabric. Yeah. And that one, I, I broke the pink thread, so it's pretty tight in there. <laughs> but that will hold long-term, no fuzzy edges, tidy and clean. So we're just doing a short little video today. I probably talked half an hour already, because that's what I do.